unbelievable, 2,000 years old, this massive limestone bridge was built by the Romans. Its one purpose was to carry water across this wide river valley. Today, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the south of France. This is Pont du Gald. Admission to the site is free of charge. However, for a cost of 8 euros, you gain access to the cinema and the visitor center's museum. I'm very glad that we spent the money on the tickets. The cinema shows a video that explains why they made this, when, and they even show how it was made. This is the work of 1,000 men laboring for four years. What an amazing feat of engineering. I'm surprised that they were able to accomplish this 2,000 years ago. The water source is here in the north. They built 50 kilometers of aqueduct along a route that avoids the taller hills. And this allowed the delivery of some 40,000 cubic meters of water per day to the city of Nîmes, which has an elevation just 12 meters lower than the water's source. Here we go into the museum to see a little bit about the whole thing. This is the kind of fountain you would have seen all over town as the water got all the way from the other side of the country to Nîmes. The fountain supplied the people. The lead pipes came lead pipes came through as we see here. People collected their water. And then the runoff, if it ever overflowed, cleaned the streets of the sewage and the dirt that collected. On the streets? Yeah, the sewage is collected on the street. You know how it was in uh, France back then. Piping standards were already being developed way back then. Valves came in the same size over and over and they could interchange them as needed throughout the city. Not much different than modern day piping. A good example of their hot water tanks. You could have put this over a wood stove and then used hot water as they needed it. Third century. They had already developed a pump. Just a piston pump, the same as we have today. Sometimes the pumps were used by the firemen when needed for fires. Sometimes they simply filled up, up, up to the water tower to help it distribute around the city. And then valves could be opened and closed as per different needs or punishments. There, there's a system of the controller and how he decides who gets water. It says here sometimes they would uh, have contracts. People would buy water just like we do now. If you don't pay your water bill, you're cut off. I wouldn't normally stand under a stone like this, but I suspect that it's probably just made of styrofoam. Let's hope. It's funny because you, when you think back to thousands of years ago you don't think that the people were as advanced but when you start looking at all the architecture and all the things that they did they had very elaborate tools and levers and pulleys and measuring devices and they were very skilled in mathematics and building and the uh, equipment that they used was far more uh, technologically advanced than what you would really give them credit for or think that it would be it is the three level Pont de Gap. We're here. It is incredible. Walking up from the lower level bridge to the aqueduct level is a 77 step staircase. It doesn't sound like much, but it feels like a lot because they're uneven. And while you're up here at the top level on the right bank, don't forget to sneak through this tunnel and access a lot of the forested trails for a nice afternoon's walk. When we visited in February, the top level was closed to the public. You can get up there if you're a group or if you come during the summer. So we walked across the river on the lower level bridge. Hard to imagine, but I'm standing underneath an arch that was built 2,000 years ago. Look at the way they interlock the stones as well. And here's our view on the bridge, looking out that way. It's funny that somebody would have at some point said, hey, let's take water and transport it across this river. But not just that, let's build this enormous bridge to take it across. Let's make the biggest aqueduct in the Roman Empire. Take it down to Nîmes. The lower level is a walkway. That's the only level that we were allowed onto. 
The second level is also a walkway. The canal for water transport is at the top on level three. It's February now and the flow in the Garden River is barely noticeable. Throughout the year, though, this river rises and flows dangerously fast. Notice that none of the lower supports sit in the river. Look too at the tapered faces of each leg, designed to allow the river to flow past when the water level is high. Little cave here in the uh, walkway area. Little. Yeah, it doesn't go in deep. It's not like at Bowling Green, Kentucky. Goes up high. It's pretty high. Yeah. No spelunking here. No spelunking here. What a beautiful day. I'm glad we came to Pont du Gald. Well, as they say in French, c'était fantastique. It was a wonderful day and we look forward to seeing you, as always, on the road. Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.